What's going on guys? Welcome back to Figla. My name is Abel, the director. I know I just uploaded a video about the Batmobile and the Ghost Rider Haslight, but I gotta talk about this because this I am so excited about this. It's one of my favorite collections of this year, one of my favorite sets that I'm trying to complete, which it is complete until the new ones come out, but I just need to talk about this because I freaking love the way it looks. And here's a hint right here from those back there. And it is the Ninja Turtles NECA Universal Monster Clash. Donatello, the Invincible Man. Let's take a look at it right quick. Here it is, guys, in all his glory. Donatello as the Invincible Man. Freaking looks amazing. I love the head scope. I love the goggles. I love the freaking band bandage everywhere. Let's take a look at the other video. Comes with a little book. His feet also are, are banded up. I mean, ba bandaged up to match his head looks freaking incredible the, the leather jacket looks freaking incredible what else can I show you here he's that's just a different pose this is what I was talking to my friend Chad he sent a, a message on our chat on our toy chat thing with uh, Bobby and I didn't even notice until he told me about this that his shelf is invincible and then you can see the pizza slices that he has inside his shelf this is what I call attention to detail, and it just looks freaking amazing. I thought his whole body was going to be like this silver, like everything, his head and everything, but they did the shelf, which surprised me. It freaking looks freaking amazing. And putting, and putting the pizza slices inside, that, that's what I call attention to detail. I freaking love this figure. His eyes are black, just like in the movies. If you ever seen the movie Invincible Man, his eyes are black because uh, I guess he's invisible. You can't see nothing but the darkness of uh, of the hollow head, I guess. His hands, this is how I thought it was going to be completely. Like his hands and his feet, you can't really see it here, but they're, uh, uh, what do you call it, clear as well, just to make it look like he's the Invincible Man. I freaking love this. I was talking to Alex about how they're going to make the Invincible Man, and I actually told them about this like they should make it clear to make it look invincible which i freaking love it it looks amazing here he is with his hat his goggles this, i think this is how i'm gonna pose him this right here he looks freaking dope like this but i might change the arms to like the invincible arms because that's i don't know it just looks freaking amazing i love it the paint apps on the leather like this jacket the way they paint it looks it looks like real leather you know what i mean the, the details on the buttons, everything looks freaking amazing. I mean, it is NECA. The purple freaking inside sweater, the texture on it, I'm pretty sure that's going to be freaking dope. I know the hats, uh, the hat and the goggles, I know is removable. Uh, I don't know about this hair right here. It looks freaking, right here it looks freaky. It looks weird. It looks like flipping off, I guess, shredder. I don't know. <laughs> it does come with a little booklet, this little telescopic thing. It's a uh, freaking weapon right there. Looks pretty cool like this with the invincible arms. I love it, but I just love the way it looks. And then you can see his invisible shelf on the back. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like this. His hair looks. Uh, I doubt I'm gonna pose him like this at all. <laughs> but whatever. It's good I brought another freaking head sculpt. Here he is uh, working up, uh, I guess, a formula for his invincibility. I guess I don't know. Right there, he's just, I guess, uh, he's mad at somebody posing. This one looks pretty cool as well. I like it. He looks he looks cool like this without the hat and just the black eyes. It looks pretty cool. I like it. Here's everything it comes with. The Donatello, the whole uh, 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 figure right here. Freaking detail. Love it. The extra head sculpt. It's funny, so I don't like it too much. The hat, the booklet, the little, top, little telescopic thing. Little cup, his weapon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arms, bro. Eight freaking arms. Two invisible arms and two invisible feet. That's freaking amazing, bro. It brings out a lot of stuff. And this, this is the, this is the middle finger, isn't it? That's pretty cool. I freaking love that nigga did that. All right, guys, that is it. That's what I wanted to show you. Let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. This is my favorite set of the year. I've, I've ever since I, I saw it announced, I'm like, I have to get that whole set. And so far, I have them all. So, can't wait for uh, Splinter as Van Helsing. Who else is coming out? Casey Jones as Phantom of the Opera. I do not like the picture that I saw, so I'm going to wait and for them to upload or, or release better pictures. But, whatever. 
And who else was it? I think it was somebody else. That might be it for the good guys. Can't wait to see who they're going to make Shredder. They should have made Splinter the Wolfman. I don't know why they made him Van Helsing. And they should have made Van Helsing Shredder maybe. I don't know. They need to make the foot soldiers. They need to make those other bad guys. They need to make a lot. I'm going to get them all. Anyways, let me stop talking. Let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave a comment and I'll catch you guys on my next video.